Hi family, good evening. Welcome to tonight's prayer. God bless you. My name is Faith and this is Joy in Zoe Intercessory Prayer Ministries. We meet here every Monday to Friday from 9 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. to stand in the gap and pray for the unreached people and the unsaved across the nations. So you're welcome to tonight's prayer. God bless you. I hope you had a glorious and profitable day today. And for everyone um, joining us for the first time, you are also welcome. So thank you for joining us today. So tonight, tonight, um, before we begin our prayers, let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's thank him for today's people group and for the grace and the privilege to be here again tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. We pray in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Father, for your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for salvation. We say thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for today's people group. Thank you for every intercessor in the house, all that are joining us tonight joining our face to pray for the unreached Father. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We ask the Lord that as we join our faith to pray tonight, we we'll pray that salvation will get to these people speedily. We we'll pray that the word of the Lord, gospel materials will get to them. They will have access to your word that will bring salvation to the entire of their community in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We we'll pray, oh Lord, that as we pray by your spirit tonight, let your kingdom come and let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. have your way tonight, sweet Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> okay. So for all of our new uh, members, for everyone joining us today, for the first time, we are going... Um, to give you a brief history about the unreached people group before we begin our prayers tonight. So you might be wondering, who are these unreached people? Yes, the unreached people. These are ethnic group of people. They speak the same language. They live in the same community. But these people do not have access to the gospel. They do not have, um, there are no church presence around them. They don't have access to gospel materials. And most time there are no churches around them even if they have christians among them they are not more than two percent which is not enough to evangelize the whole of their community and that is why they need us to stand in the gap and intercede for them so as we cannot reach them physically we will reach them here through our prayers knowing that as we pray the missionaries god's messengers whom he has sent to them will reach them with the gospel of Jesus and they will receive a salvation to the glory of his name in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So tonight we are praying for the harassi in Oman. The harassi in Oman. Now this people group, the Arabist harassi in Oman, they have a population of 2,400 and a world population of 2,400. This people group, they speak the Arabic Omani language. So they are the Omani um, spoken Arabic. And their primary religion is Islam. They practice the Islam religion. They have 0.0% Christian adherence, 0.0% evangelical. And um, their access to the Bible is unspecified. That is, it is not known if the Bible is available, if the, the, um, if the Bible is available in the Omani language. So they have no access to online audio New Testament Bible. They don't have access to the Jesus film. They don't have access to audio recordings. And their status still remains unreached. Their status still remains unreached. Now, the Arabis Harassi in Oman, this Harassi, they are small, isolated tribe of Bedouin. Sorry, the Bedouins. They are the small, 
isolated tribe of Bedouins who raised camels and goats in the Jidat Il Harassi's desert of central Oman. Now, these people, as modern day nomads, most as modern day nomads, most use um, most of them use SUVs to move their herds to seasonal grazing lands. They pride themselves to being robust and independent and having the ability to survive without much water. Now, the ministry obstacle to these people is that their seasonal movements and remote isolation make it difficult to share the gospel with the Harassi. In addition, they are followers of Islam, so many also practice this Sufism and animism. They practice Sufism and animism. But there is good news. The outreach ideas on how we can get to these people is that some of the harassing men, they work um, skill, skilled positions in cities, returning to the desert for extended vacations during the holiday season. They work as skilled workers in cities and they often return to the desert for extended vacations during holiday seasons. So if these men could be reached with a saving message of Christ, they could successfully carry the good news back to their families and their tribes. So we're going to pray on this outreach idea that the word of the Lord will get to these harassed people wherever they are, so that when they return to their home on long vacations, on extended vacations, they will if they will be able to carry the gospel back with them to their own families and to their tribes. We we'll pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the harassed people. We thank you, Lord, for for the salvation of their souls. Uh, we pray, oh God, for many of these harassed people to come in contact with the gospel. We pray that they will have access to the gospel of Jesus, that they will receive the salvation of Jesus Christ, so that they will take the gospel to their own communities, to their tribes, uh, to their families in the name of Jesus, that their family, their people will get to hear about the Savior from themselves, from their own families. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Lord, we pray that as they have a sea, people continue to move across cities. They will come in contact with the gospel. They will come in contact with the, the saving Christ, oh God. They will receive the salvation of Jesus. And by themselves, they will take the gospel to their own communities, to their tribes and to their families. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Oh Lord, we thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for those people. Blessed be your name, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. So we're going to read our scripture focus. Our scripture focus for tonight is taken from James chapter 1 and verse 12. And it says, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. James chapter 1 and verse 12. Hallelujah. Amen. So with this scripture focus, we are going to pray that the believers in today's people group patiently endure their afflictions and share the good news with others. Hallelujah. Amen. We we'll pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we we'll commit these people, the harassed people to your throne of grace. We we'll pray, oh God, that the believers in today's people group would patiently endure their afflictions and share the gospel, the good news of Christ with others in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray for the believers in today's people group that they would patiently endure their afflictions and share the gospel, the good news of Christ with others, with their tribes, with all the members of their tribe, with, with their families, uh, with their communities. Uh, they will boldly share the word of the Lord. Oh, Masuka Pakatos, with others of members of their families in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray, oh God, for the believers among today's people group that they would patiently Endure their afflictions and share the good news with others in the name of Jesus. They will share the good news with their families. They will share the good news with members of their communities in boldness, O oh God. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Oh, my saint, Lipa Caladosa, Lipa Super Handa Mantos and KTK, Lebred O Sipa Handa Masuka Kalia Cadosa. Lord, we pray, O oh God, for the believers among today's people, the believers among the harassed people, Lord, Masuka Pacahanda Caledosa. We pray, O oh God, that those people would patiently endure their afflictions and share the good news with others, and share the good news with others among the communities, among the families, among the friends uh, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, spreading the good news about Christ across their communities uh, in the name of Jesus, amen. Oh, my so saint, Libada, Manto Sika Lipredes, Le Paca Suba Handa, Manto Sike Ligede, Oh, Pasha Sayabado, Sipre Hende Kelia Cadosa, Lord, we pray, oh God. For that the believers into this people group will patiently endure their afflictions and share the good news with others in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Lord, we give you praise. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for the harassed people, for the believers among this people group. Thank you for filling them with your boldness, O oh God, with the faith, with the strength, O oh God, to speak the good news about Christ across our communities, to boldly speak the word, to teach, O oh Lord, members of their communities of the good news of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for helping them endure their afflictions. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Next, we're going to pray for the Lord to raise up his chosen ambassadors to take the gospel to the harassing. Amen. Oh Lord, we pray. Masupa Hanka Leketosa. Masu Santaka Libagada. Oh Makampaka Leketosia. Lord, we pray that you will raise up chosen ambassadors to take the gospel to the harassed people in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray, O oh Lord, that you will raise up chosen ambassadors to take the gospel to the harassed people in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you will raise up chosen ambassadors who will take the gospel to the harassed people. You will raise the chosen ambassadors, believers, oh God, all the spirit-filled believers, believers filled with the virtue of the Holy Ghost, who will take the gospel of Jesus to the harassed people in love and in patience, in kindness, oh God. Lord, we pray that you will raise up chosen ambassadors who will take the gospel of Jesus to the harassed people in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we give you praise. Oh, my saint, Elika Pakado, Yosia Handa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for raising ambassadors, oh God, among the Havasi people, Lord. Thank you for raising ambassadors who will take the gospel to those people. Thank you for raising chosen ambassadors to take the gospel to the harassed people even the believers among them spread across the nations to go to bring the gospel back home to their own people we say thank you lord thank you lord for raising them lord to bring the gospel to this people group in their communities in the name of jesus christ lord we give you praise blessed be your name in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen hallelujah amen Next, we're going to pray for the hearts of the harassing to be awakened to the truth and be receptive to the gift of God in Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray for the hearts of the harassing to be awakened to the truth and to be receptive to the gift of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, masuka kaleke so sente libre deus masupa kaka palagada lepa kansu senke teke teke teke. Lord, we pray for the hearts of the harassed to be awakened. Awaken their hearts to the truth of your word. Awaken their hearts to the truth of your gospel. Let the word of the Lord that will come to them let it burn in their heart, let it burn in their spirit, oh Lord. Let it awaken their spirit to the truth of the gospel. That their hearts will be receptive, oh God, to the gift of God in Jesus in the mighty 
mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Masi Kalia Kafus, Lepa Super Hankaka, Mantusia Handa Libre Dosikati, Makapaka Lekososia. Let their hearts be awakened. Let their hearts be awakened to the truth and be receptive to the gift of God in Jesus. Oh, my sick Let them find faith in Christ. Let them find hope in Christ. Let them come to trust in the living Christ in the name of Jesus. Let them come to trust in Him and put all their hope and depend on Him, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the hearts of the harassed people to be awakened to the truth and be receptive to the gift of God in Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen oh Lord we give you praise Lord we honor you thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord blessed be your name in Jesus much less name we pray amen amen hallelujah next we're going to pray we're going to pray for god to establish his church among the harassi and for them to become a light to other nomadic tribes hallelujah amen oh father we thank you that those people will become a light to other nomadic tribes in the name of jesus we pray lord we commit the, the harassed people lord we pray that you will establish your church among them you will establish your living church among them that this harassed people oh kasuka pakalikitosia will become a light to other nomadic tribes in the name of jesus that they will come to know jesus through those people they will come to see and experience the love and the, and the light of christ through those people that you will establish your church lord among the harassi that they will become a light to other nomadic tribes that through their relationship with you through their experiences with Christ will go many other nomadic tribes will come to Jesus they will come to embrace the living Christ they will come to embrace and receive the salvation of Jesus they will come to be, receive the eternal life that Jesus brings in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Pasuza Tayagada, Lepa Kasuka Kalagada, Manto Sipa Libre Degede, Masu Sayabado Sipa Hende Kelipa Kakakaya, Lepre Keto Sika Kaliagados, Oh, Masente Libre de La Punto Sia Handakada. The God will pray, Lord, Lepa Suka Kakapadagadosa, that you will establish your church among the harassed people. Oh, for them to become a light to other nomadic tribes, a light to, to, the, to the neighboring communities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, establish, O oh God, your church among the Harassi for them to become a light to other nomadic nations and all the nomadic tribes are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, let Suzahanda Kalikete, Matu Sekete, will pray, oh God, for the, the Bible, oh God, the availability of the Bible in their language, oh God. Le Pakasukede Gede in the Omani tribe, Lord, the Omani language, will pray, oh God, that there will be translation of the Bible available in the Omani language, oh God, that those people will have access to your word. They will have access to the to the word of the lord uh, to the gospel of jesus so even in their own language uh, in the name of jesus we'll pray for a disciple making movement lord that you will raise a believers who will go to these people and teach them the ways of the lord and show them the path of little righteousness help them to grow in their faith oh god and build their hope in christ jesus oh masika pakalagada Lepa super handa mantu sike leke de lepa kaka paka to sika handa kalepedos that they will come to know of the living Christ that they will come to know of the Lord at the beginning and the end the Lord Jesus that oh makasuka kaliyada the one who has died for the salvation of their souls that they will come to know Him and receive Him in the name of Jesus Amen and to their relationship, oh God, they will come to become lights to other nomadic nations. Through them, Lord, 
other nomadic nature will begin to surrender to Christ of God because they will see your light in them. They will see the love of Jesus in them. They will come to experience the life of Christ of God through the arrested people in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh God, we pray that you will establish your church among the harassed people, oh God, and that they will become a light to other nomadic tribes. They will become a light to other nomadic tribes that through them, many, oh God, will begin to turn to Jesus. They will begin to turn to Christ. They will begin to accept the salvation and eternal life that Jesus brings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, we pray that you continue to draw those people closer to yourself, oh Lord, and let it be availability, oh Lord, of gospel materials, oh God, even in their language, oh God, that they will have access, oh God, to the gospel of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Oh, my super hanka lekitos, lepa super handa mante libre de lepa kasuka kakaliados. Masonko liba handa le preketo siya handa le siya. Lord, we thank you for establishing your church among the harassed people. Thank you, Father, for making them to become lights to other nomadic nations, to other nomadic tribes. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you for giving them your boldness, oh God. Oh, pasuka kalea handa that as they receive your word, they will boldly speak it, oh Lord, to all to their neighboring communities, uh, to their families, and uh, to other nomadic tribes. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Le pasusa kapalea mantu senkenteke le pakaka kalea badosia. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the Harabis Harassi in Oman. Thank you for what you are doing in and around them right now. For the salvation of their souls, for the planting of your churches among them, for the raising of disciples among them. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the spread of your word across their communities, oh God. Oh, Masuka Kalekethosia, for capturing the hearts of other um, uh, harassed people, oh Lord, that are living in cities, oh God, for capturing in their heart that they will take the gospel or go back to their home back to their tribe back to their communities oh god we say thank you lord thank you lord thank you jesus thank you for reaching them lord blessed be your name of god hallelujah in jesus matchless name we pray amen and amen hallelujah amen Next, we're going to pray for every soul that we not did unto salvation. We'll pray that the grace of Jesus that brings salvation will appear to them right now. And they will receive salvation. They will receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we commit as men that have not deigned to be saved this day. As men that have been marked for salvation today. We'll pray, oh God, that salvation will not pass them by. This day will not pass them by. Your word will get to them by your means, oh God. They will receive it, oh God, through dreams, through visions, oh God. Through media, enemies, oh God, they will receive your word and be saved in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray that you order their steps, oh God. Oh, kasuka palia, kathosie, hende. Order their activities, oh God. Let your word get to them. Oh, masuka, let your grace that we get salvation appear to them right now. Let them receive the gospel of Jesus. Let them come to embrace, oh God, the salvation that Jesus brings. Lepa kasusa kakarakatos. And be saved in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, for every unsaved, every soul ordained to salvation that I'm receiving right now. We say thank you, Lord, for turning them to Christ, for drawing them to yourself. We say thank you in the name of Jesus for opening their hearts ears to share your word and their hearts to receive your word we say thank you lord in the mighty name of jesus amen lord we commit the missionaries the pastors the evangelists the food soldiers everyone on the go for christ taking the gospel to the ends of the earth taking gospel materials to the origin across the nations lord we pray that you continue to protect them we pray that you're going to strengthen them going to energize and empower them by your spirit in the name of jesus christ amen we we'll pray that as they go they will not be weary they will not be tired they will not fall they will not fail in the name of jesus 
oh, we pray for the fresh flow of your word. They will receive your word, oh, Masika Handakada, and they will speak it with boldness. That everyone who hear, oh God, every heart that hears your word through them, Lord, will be open to receive. They will receive it and be saved to the glory of your name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Masuka Kalea Kato Sente Hende Lei Pasuka Kalegetes. Thank you, Father. We pray that you supply all of their needs according to your riches, Lord. In glory in Christ Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your families. Thank you for protecting your families, for providing for your families. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we commit the, the Joy in Zoe members to your throne of grace and everyone joining in this prayer, Lord, will pray that you will meet them at the point of their needs, Lord. We pray that the the the, the fire on their prayer altar will never go down. Let them continue to burn, oh God, for you in for inter in intercession, oh God. Praying for the unreached, praying for the unsaved across the nations, Lord. Oh, Masika Hanka Le Pakatu Sehende. Lord, we pray Kale Subahanda that every issue of concern in the life shall be turned for a testimony in the name of Jesus as they continue to stand in the gap, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. We thank you, Father, for all that will come in contact with these prayer materials that are yet to be saved. Lord. We pray, O oh God, Masuka Hankalia Hindi. As they come, O oh God, in contact, Lord, they will be convicted, they will be converted, they will be saved with the glory of your name, they will receive Jesus as the Lord and Savior. Their heart, O oh God, will be pierced, O oh God. They will burn, O oh God, and they will receive your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. O oh Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for your grace, O oh God. Thank you for answers to all of our prayers. Thank you for the fruits of our prayers, Lord. We say thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, family. God bless you. Thank you for joining in, in tonight's prayer. Don't forget this prayer continues tomorrow, 9 p.m. to 90 p.m. Do well to invite your friends and family, share the link, and also join us if you're watching from YouTube. Do well to subscribe to the channel and also invite your friends and family to join. And you can also join us here, 9 p.m. Nigeria time, Monday to Friday, and be a part of this great commission. As you keep doing so, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a wonderful and glorious night, please. Shalom, shalom.